Hi beautiful people! Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mark and I love making things sweet and on style. So for today's tutorial, I'm going to share with you how I make this very lovely and dainty flower. This is called a Hawaiian Coral Charm Peony. So I'll show you my techniques on how I do the coloring, the thinning of the petals, even the center, and how to do the back part of the flower. So what are you waiting for? Let's start! Hi guys! So we'll be making the center of the peony flower, the pistil. So first, I colored my gum paste. So to achieve this dark green color, I mixed in red, yellow, and then three drops of green. So the color I used for this one is the Yatraco Food Color Gel. But you can use any color brands that you have. So first, you need to get a very small amount, just like so. Okay, and remember to put cornstarch on your hand so it won't stick. And then make a teardrop by rolling it on your fingers. Just like so. Like a pointed teardrop. So for the size, this is exactly 1.5 cm. Okay? And then you insert this into wire number 28. You can use number 30. Just like that. And then gently you lock. Okay, so you need to make five or six pieces of this one. See? So what I like to do, the end part, I press it so that it's a little bit flat. And then I try to create movements with it. Just like so. Can you see that? So you need to make five or six pieces of this one. Now, I will show you how to make my stamens. So, you see this very cute yellow thing? So, I just made them. So, first, you need an ordinary thread that's color cream or white. So, what I like to do, I, I want to have a container like this so the thread won't run. So, you need to position your hands just like so, like a peace sign. So, you put the thread on the middle and then hold it with your thumb and then gently twist so you need to roll and roll until it becomes thick so there's no specific number of rolls but if you're OC that's 200 rolls okay so if I were you you just roll and roll until it becomes thick no need to count okay just like so So just continue rolling and rolling. After that, once it's thick like this one, you need to cut. After you cut, you remove your thumb in the middle. And then you need to get wire number 28 or 30 and then insert it just like that. And then get and fold and then you take it out of your hands and then gently you twist. Okay, so do that again on the other side. So in one loop, you can create two pieces already. Okay, and then twist. And then, you need to cut it in the middle. So I'll just cut this. Just like that. So what I'll do now, you need to get your floral tape. Okay, and then expand to activate the stickiness so just twist it going to the other side and then you need to put tape at this level okay at the middle not lower not higher but at this level so gently pinch and then twist pinch twist pinch twist and then you need to wrap the entire wire just like so after that you need to spread and make it full using your fingers and then you can dip this on white glue but what I love to do is as simply as spraying the ends of the threads with ordinary water okay so I'll show you what it looks like after okay and then here I have here my gelatin with 
luster dust that's color yellow. So since the thread is wet and moist, the gelatin bits will stick to the end. So gently dip it. And what you'll have is something like that. See? So you need to let this dry for about half a minute and then it's ready to use. Okay, so I'm just dipping it out. Okay. See that? It's very pretty. Okay, so now I'll show you how to assemble the pistils and the stamens. So first you need to bunch up the pistils that you made like that and then you get one of your stamens. So you put it at this level, just put it underneath, okay, should be at that level like that. And then you get another one. So normally I use three or four, it depends on how thick the stamens that you made. So here I'll be only using three. After that you get your floral tape. So I like to put it underneath and then I just twist one, two, three. And after that you need to cover all the wires with floral tape so that it will come out clean just like so. Okay, so this will be the center of our teeny flower. Okay, so now we'll be creating the petals of the peony flower or the peony flower. So this is color peach. So to achieve this color, you need to mix in very little red and very, very little yellow. And then you'll come up with this color. Okay, so for the cutters that we'll be using, uh, we'll be using cutter number one, cutter number two, and cutter number three. So I will link in the description box below the exact measurements of each cutter. So cutter number one, you need to cut 12 pieces of this one. And then cutter number two, we need 15. And then cutter number three, we need 10 pieces only. Okay? You can go more depending on how full you want your peony flower to look like. But it depends on you. This is just the standard number of how I create my peony flower. Okay. So to start off, we dab cornstarch on our table so that it won't stick. Okay. And then we gently roll it out. So this should be thin enough that you can insert uh, wire number 28. If you don't have wire number 28, you can use wire number 30 for this one. Okay, so we're just rolling in one direction. Okay. And we put cornstarch so it won't stick. And then I flip. Okay. And just roll. Okay, so it should only be around this thick. So it's still thick because we need to insert wires. So when you're cutting, again, so you just press gently and then move the paste. So it comes out clean. Okay, so you need to cut 12 pieces of this one, cutter number one. And then cutter number two, you need to cut 15. Okay, and then cutter number three you need to cut 10 pieces, okay? So for the sizes, cutter number one, this is two centimeter. Cutter number two, this is 2.5 centimeter. Cutter number three, this is 3.5 centimeter, okay? Okay, now I'm going to show you how to thin out and treat each and every petal and insert wire also. Okay, so the first thing we'll be working on is the smallest petal. So we have 12 pieces. So one of the petals should be cut into half. Okay, the reason behind, this will be the smallest petal that should be curled. Okay, so this is the first petal that we will work on. So it's like this. So you only do this on one of the 12 petals, the smallest. So I move it a little bit. Just like that. And then, this is wire number 28. This is what we'll use. If you have wire number 30, it's better because it's thinner. So, I insert it only until here. Okay. 
already. So I will dab cornstarch so it won't stick. And then you need to get your ball tool. So what I will do, randomly I will just thin out the edges. Okay. So after you thin out the edges, I'm using a multi-vayner. So this is a teeny multi-vayner. So I'll just press it here. Okay. And then after that, you need to fill the edges. Okay, so I'll be pulling it. So it will be something like this. Okay. And then you just let it out and dry and set. Like that. So normally what I do, I get a sponge. And then I try to make it cup. So I go back and forth. It should be really irregular because this is the first set of petal. Okay, so leave it there to dry. And then we get the other half and do the same. Okay. You can actually pinch it more to add more movement. So later on when we assemble, I'll show you what it looks like. Okay, so now going to the real small petal. Okay, so what I will do... You need to insert wire number 28 again. So no need to put edible glue if you're using my gum paste recipe. But if you're using other recipe, you need to put edible glue. Okay, so after that, dab cornstarch and then gently manipulate the shape. And thin out the petals. Okay. Just like so. Okay. After that, you put it on the veiner and press hard. Okay, add porn starch on your fingers, or you can actually use the sponge to press it out. After that, the side with the veining should be facing the sponge. Okay. And then using your ball tool, I'll just go around here and then here. Avoid the center, okay? You just need to make this cup. Okay. Just like so. And then we leave it to dry. So you do this on all the small petals. So if you find it hard to cup the petals, if you have a spoon or a petal former, you can just leave it like this to dry, okay? But if you don't have the spoon, you need to cup it well. Okay, and then you do the same with all the petals. So let's say for example, this is the, the second set of petals. This is the using cutter number two. So I will do the same. So just insert wire number 28. Okay, and then what I will do using the cutter also, I will create small pairs just like that before I finally thin it out. Okay, dab corn starts so it won't stick. And then I will push going outside. You can use the bigger ball tool if you want so that you have more control. Okay, you see the shape? Okay. Normally, my um, for me, the sign if it's already very thin, it's you can see it's almost translucent or transparent. Okay, so here it's almost translucent on the sides. So I will again press it on my veiner. So you can use your sponge to press it, okay, just like so, and then take it out. And then you'll see it has very nice veining. So what I do, I'll put this on my sponge again. Dab cornstarch so it won't stick. And then using the, the side with veining should be facing behind. So here's the side with veining. Okay. So I need to go here and here again to make it cup. Just like so, and then let it dry. Okay, 
So you do the same with the bigger petal. So you have to make it all cup. And after that, we will assemble. Okay, so now we just finished uh, cupping and thinning all the petals. So this is the 12 pieces. The smaller petal and then uh, as you remember, we cut one petal into two. Okay, and then this is the second petal using cutter number two and this is the largest petals using cutter number three. So before we assemble, we need to first dust it and remove the cornstarch. So remove the cornstarch, gently dust it off. Okay, so what I love to do, this is a color pink dust. Okay, so I'll just move them a little bit. Okay, so you need to dust very little pinks on top. Okay, just like that. See that? And then after that, you get your color yellow dust. So this is color yellow. And then you need to change makeup brush. Okay, so we'll be using the yellow one. Okay, and then we need to dust yellow at the bottom. Okay, just like so. So it's a mixture of three different colors. So there's peach, there's yellow, and then there's pink. So you need to do this on all the petals. And then the underneath, this one, you can just run down with very little yellow, okay? So this is what all the petals should look like. And then after we all dust everything, we will assemble it one by one. Okay, so we just finished dusting all the petals. So now you see the color is so nice and vibrant. So in one petal, which is color peach, there are actually three colors. So the base is peach and then we dusted it with yellow on the lower part. And then the upper part we dusted with very little pink. Okay, so now we will assemble. So we have these two uneven small petals. So first you need to get your floral tape and expand. So what I like to do, I'll first put one on a random manner just like that. Okay. And then I'll insert the other one in a bit of the opposite direction. So in terms of the level, it should be at this level. So it should not, no green should be showing. Okay, so we'll just tilt this a little bit, just like so, you see that, okay? And now you can actually get the tape and start wrapping, so just expand, I put it under and then you just twist, one and two, okay? So now we will add, we'll first work with the smaller petals, okay? So we need to set this aside, so first I will insert like one petal just like so and then I'll insert another one okay just like that and then I go into the other side insert one okay. and then I insert another one so basically the form it should be like two two and then two Okay, then we twist and wrap. See that? Okay, there, there are a lot of different techniques on how you can make yoni. So what I'm showing you is my technique. So we insert one here. And another just at the back. Okay, see that? So it should look like this. And then we twist. Okay, and then after this, you already have two here, two here, and another two here. So right now, what I will do, this is the time that you need to actually move your petals a little bit from different directions. So here, I'll try to insert it at this position. Because the real peony, actually, the petals are a bit unruly. There's no specific pattern, so... I'm just inserting it in different ways like that. Okay, you see that? Because this makes it look more natural. Okay, and then I wrap. So right here, I'll be inserting one that's just like this. Okay. 
And then you have to look at your flower on where you can insert more petals. So here I'll insert it, but a bit slanting, like this. Okay, you see that? You can actually make it. You can actually transfer it here if you want. Okay, and then we wrap. Okay. okay. I have to put this a bit lower. Just like so. Okay, so after you are done wrapping with the first set of petals, and then it will come to a point wherein your tape is shorter, so just roll it and then get another tape that is longer. Okay, and then we expand to activate the stickiness. So right now, I have here the next size. So this is using cutter number two. So when you attach these petals, it should just be on a continuing motion. So again, the level is here. Okay. So just continue adding. So it should be overlapping. Okay. So just overlapping. Sorry about that. Add it here, and then we'll add the next, next petal. Okay, so you see, um, it's just overlapping, just like so. Okay, and then get your tape and slowly wrap around. So it won't move. So you have to finish the entire side. Okay. So just overlap. You see that? Basically, this is what it looks like under. I'm just adding little by little. So some people find it easy to arrange like this, but some find it easier to arrange on an upside down motion. So if in case it's upside down, what you need to do, you need to bend first the wire and then put it here, just like that. And since we ended here, we'll put the next petal on that position. Okay, see that? And then get the next one and insert. Okay, so we're done with the second set of petals. So now we will move on with the final set of the petals. So this is the biggest petal using cutter number 3. So what I love to do, you need to bend and put it very close to the center, just like that. Okay? So continuous again, this is overlapping. So just add... add okay and add and then we need to do a round of the floor tape okay and then just continue adding petals so you see i'm folding it first so i fold i bend the wire and then i place it in position should be close like that and then bend and then put and then for the last one bend and then put it on place okay so after that you need to twist this and cover it cover all the wires with floral tape and I'll show you what it looks like because you need to make this very clean okay need to cover all the wires I actually have another technique that has no wire so let me know on the comment section below if you're interested to learn that also okay so we're just twisting and twisting and twisting okay until it's very clean see that and then when you tilt it upside down this is what it looks like 
So now you can see that there's so many layers and your peony flower is so full, just like the real thing. But we're not yet done, so you can actually arrange some of the petals. You can squish it if you want. Okay, just be careful on squishing the peony flower. Okay, so after that... Okay, so since we are done assembling our peony flower, so now we'll just add final accents. So here I have here my paint palette with the dried food color gel or the liquid gel color. So I'll just spray one of the circles with water, but you can actually use gin or vodka. Just like so. And then you need to get your very fine brush. Okay, so what I love to do, I'll just go around at some parts and just add some red details. Just like that. Okay. Because the real flower has those strikings. Just like that. Okay. So you can only achieve this using... Um, gel color with gin or vodka or water. You cannot achieve these strikes like that with um, with a dust. Okay, so you, you really need to wet your brush, your specific brush for wet colors and add, add details such as that. Okay, I'm just adding some lines here. So you'll just add those details in some of the petals, not all. Okay, in just some of the petals, not all. that I'm just putting some details okay and now we're done I'm happy with the result of our peony flower so this is us the specific variety is a coral charm peony so this is what it looks like if it's fully bloomed so after we have added some details we need to put the sepal okay so I'll teach you how to put sepals but first I'll just add more detailing using our liquid gel color mixed with water you see that so I'm just adding on the end just like straight lines so it's a bit shiny because it's still wet but once it dries it's gonna be matte okay Okay, so we're done. We added all the details that we wanted. Okay, so now we will proceed with the sepals, okay? Okay, so now we will be doing the sepals or the leaves at the back of the flower. So first this is color green. Uh, I basically mix in red, yellow, and then three drops of color green. So you need to dab cornstarch on your table, just like that, and then put your green paste on top, then dab cornstarch, and then gently we roll it out. Okay. So we just roll it as thin as we can. Okay, just like so. So here you see it's a little bit thick so you need to cut two pieces of cutter number two okay so this is 2.5 centimeter in diameter and then using your cutter number one which is 1.5 centimeter you need to cut three pieces okay just like that 
And then you need to get at least one centimeter of the paste, like that, small ball. Okay, and after that, you first put your other green things inside the Tupperware or Ziploc so it won't dry out. So we'll first work with the three sepals. So what we need to do, what I love to do, you just need to press on the sides just like that so that it will become wider and thinner. Okay, so you see from this it became like that. The shape should be uneven because if you look at the back part of the real peony flower, it's really uneven. Okay? So, it's not really perfect. The sepals. Okay. So, once you have this three, what you need to do. So, using your multivaner for peonies, for peony flower, just press it with sponge. Okay. Do this with all three of the sepals. Okay, just like that. And then what I love to do, using your ball tool, you need to thin out the edge. Okay? So I'm just pulling it. Because what it does, it actually thins out the very ends and it creates it lighter. So there's like a very thin layer of skin just on the sides. Okay. So you do that on all three sepals. And after that, you need to get your very small ball. Okay. So we now get our peony flower. You see here. So what I will do, I will create like a bun. Okay. But before that, first you need to get edible glue. So get one of your sepals, so the underside is the side without the lines or the veins, so just put it here, okay, just like so, okay, one, and then we need to put another, okay, two, so, uh, the sepals of the peony flower is actually three pieces. Okay. And then we put the last one just at this level. Okay, just like that. See that? Okay, so now we are done with the three sepals at the back of our peony flower. So now we have to do the very long leaf at the back okay so that's our very pretty peony flower okay so i have here the two pieces of cutter number two so we cut it in half using a scissor or a knife and then we'll first work with the three pieces so we need to put this inside the tupperware or a ziploc bag okay so you need to manipulate the shape okay just like so, should be like that. So what I'll do, I'll insert wire number 28. Okay, just like that. So the wire should be until here, until the middle. Insert wire, the wire is until here. So we do it on all three, just like that. Okay. So next, what you do, you need to get your either ball tool or rolling pin. I'll show you both techniques. So if you plan to use the ball tool, all you need to do is to press and expand. Okay. So it should be like that, and make the ends pointy. And then using your leaf veiner. So you just need to put this on your leaf veiner, just like that, and then press. Okay, you 
have something like this and then make one end pointy just like that okay so the other technique is using the rolling pin so what you'll do you put your paste on your table with the wire so gently roll okay so it becomes long then gently get it from the table and press on your veiner okay and make it pointed just like that okay and then press on your leaf veiner and make one end pointy Okay, so we need to let this dry. So while this is drying, we need to add red accents to the back of the peony sepals. So again, this is our red paint palette. So I'll just spray water or gin or vodka on one of the circles. Just like that. And then get your very fine brush. Okay. So we need to get very little of the reds. Okay, and then you get your peony flower. So what I will do, you need to add red stripes. Just like that. Okay. See that? That's how it looks like. So sometimes accidents like that happen, it's okay. Because you should only put on the green parts. Okay, see that? So don't worry if it's a little bit shiny because once it's dry, it's gonna be matte. Okay, so we're done adding details. So now we'll be adding our leaves, okay? So this is how you do it. So first get one of these leaves and then bend. And then put this at this level. Okay, Just like that. And then of course you need to get your floral tape. to activate its stickiness okay, and then gently we need to wrap okay twist and wrap with the tape okay so one should be pointing like that okay should move it here on the other side okay just like that and then get another one so you bend and put it on the intersection. Okay, just like so. Okay, and then get another one. So this is our last leaf. Okay, so again bend. So for the last leaf, it's actually not that close to the center. Okay, so I'm just twisting so that we lock it on place. So I'll put it here. Okay, just like that. Then gently wrap and twist all the wires. Okay. So it's gonna be like this. So you can move it a little bit upwards. Okay, just like that. And then you need to get a long floral tape again to cover the entire back of the wire so that it will be clean. Okay, so pardon me for the cheap end. It's noisy again. So just twist. Please, please. Okay, make sure you cover all the wires. 
this, add this, this thing. And you have something like this, okay? After that, you still have your small paste, the one centimeter small green paste. So gently need a massage because you need to use this to cover the wires that can be seen. Okay, so just make this elongated and simply go around the edge of the flower so as to form like a small ball like that just like the real cleaning flower okay so just gently press this until it becomes stable on place okay and then we'll add accent to this one Here you can actually twist and lock. Okay. Just like that. See that? Okay, so now we are done. So normally what I love to do, I cover this entire wire with paste so that to make it appear very natural so you need to get very little of your paste again okay so what I will do I'll just cover this one with paste okay and then gently move my way down until I make sure that all the stick is covered with paste So I'm just pressing it again and again just to make sure that I am slowly pulling it downwards. Just like so. Okay, so let's imagine that we already covered the entire stick. So the next thing that I love to do, okay. So what I'll do next, I'll add more red details to this one. So I'll just add like the end part should be more red, just like that. Okay. So we're just painting the ends. And then I have here a gelatin. Ordinary gelatin, no color. Okay, so what I will do. So using the water here. Or actually, if you're in a hurry, what you can do. You can just spray the stem with water. Okay, so some of it will be wet. Just like so. And then you need to get your gelatin bits and just sprinkle. So the effect, it creates like the furry texture, like at the back of the real flower and on the leaves. Okay, see that? Just like the real flower. Okay, so there you have it. That's the back of our peony flower. And then this is the front side. Okay, so that's it. I hope you learned a lot. Thank you!